this man threw another googly at me today by jumping in and committing to deliver a speech but pulled off but his enthusiastic enthusiasm brought him back and is delivering his third speech today because of the fact that i thought he was not going to be here to deliver the speech i couldn't pick up the answers that he had sent me for the questions that i shared uh, with him but i still have a few key descriptions to provide for you to try uh, guessing who the speaker is uh, this man is the superstar on our floor when it comes to employee engagement involved in the book club the movie club the toastmasters club the dramatics club and the movie club i think the movie cl the book club was a free thing because if you join four clubs the fifth club is free but nevertheless <laughs> 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 uh, <coughs> this guy uh, is uh, someone that you will see on the floor active all the time and the rumor is that uh, shahrukh khan got inspiration for the title of his recently released movie from the email id of our guy uh, who is uh, going to be delivering the speech uh, next uh, ravan jeevan and don't be surprised if there's a movie in the near future titled d1 which brings us to the uh, name of our next speaker kartik d1 or uh, <laughs> or as his parents named him kartik d um the time limit is going to be 5 to 7 minutes all the way back kartik thank you thank you thank you money so i was very very jittery coming over here but thanks to money time and again he makes me very very comfortable coming on the stage so it so happened once upon a time i was there in church street recently i got a car i park the car go to a movie hall watch a movie and suddenly i strike damn did i even lock my vehicle did i press that auto cop there what if someone's going to take my vehicle away and then i'm there sitting in the theater thinking about my vehicle which has been parked in church street and then i was waiting for the movie to get over and as soon as the movie gets over i run to church street where empire is there all the cars have been parked and i'm searching everywhere and my car is not there and that's a new car i loved it there was an emotional attachment to the car alas what am i going to do i look that side museum road damn i don't see my car i look this side towards mg road i don't look at my car what am i supposed to do and then suddenly in between church street i continue looking and then i see my car which is slowly going moving away so i run behind the car <laughs> and then i fall down and then when i wake up i realize it's time to head to office <laughs> a very good afternoon everyone what do you think happened over the last 60 seconds was it 60 seconds of theater or play which came in front of you or was it a session of public speaking dear toastmaster fellow toastmasters and guests today my topic is to bring forward an idea which i have toastmasters and public speaking i feel these two entities are two different faces of the same coin very strange how did you even come up with something like this what is public speaking public speaking is about communicating speaking to a bunch of people to an audience with a mission in mind it might be just to communicate to inform to entertain or to even motivate good public speakers they are able to charge people's emotions and beyond the language and rhetoric are key aspects of public speaking no all those people who were very intently listening to the last 30 seconds i'm going to recode that dramatics is all about communicating with people it can be just to inform entertain or influence people good actors can charge people's emotions and language and rhetoric are two key important aspects of dramatics voila i've told the same sentence all again but all i change was from public speaking to dramatics and it suits it fits the bill perfect so recently we had a theater workshop for all those people who who are aware you know of mails being sent and guys this is a free theater workshop please join Do you know what we actually did in the 4 days of theater workshop majorly sa pa and it was surprise look i've come here for a theater workshop but i thought breathing they thought about dialogue delivery and it was majorly about tone and was very very surprised why aren't they teaching me acting and then in theater what you realize 
is the speech, the dialogues, your tone is very, very, very important. Now, once upon a time, I remember moving to a public speaking session. And in that particular class, what they taught was hand movement. What they taught was how exactly you move on the stage. And what they also taught was how to look at people. And then I realized, wow, there's a lot of cross connection between these two completely different, uh, uh, you, know, you know, skills, public speaking and theatre. And then I realized, I think they are nothing but the same. The roots from which they come are very, very similar. Let me also record a few things. When someone is giving a presentation, when you guys are planning of coming to a session like this, what are the key things you keep in mind? What are the elements of public speaking that is in your mind? The first, I'm sure all of you is going to think about a topic. Damn, what am I going to present today? <laughs> so once you decide on a topic, ah, all right, 50% of the work is done, isn't it? And then you decide on how exactly I'm going to present it. You build a story. Once you build a story, you will structure that particular story to reach to the audience, to connect to the audience. And once you do that, you will think about the dialogues. What exactly am I going to say? Which sentences am I going to say? Which words am I going to use to influence the audience? And finally, you come bang in front of the stage and you go ahead and deliver. Now, theatre is also very, very similar. We don't do rocket science. We don't do anything different from this. We think about what is the message that we are going to deliver. How exactly I am going to tell it in the form of a story. How exactly do I structure it? What are the dialogues? And where exactly am I going to give it to them? And finally, I come right in front and deliver it to the audience, to the back. So ladies and gentlemen, just to reiterate, theatre and public speaking, two different forms, two different entities is what we think. But the day you mix them, it is but a wonderful concoction and the fragrance leaves a lasting impression on the audience. My purpose today to come in front of you is to specify the passion which I have both for theatre as well as public speaking. I always make it a point to mix both and deliver it and connect with the audience. This is what I had to inform, influence and even entertain you. Thanks for your time.